Like I said, what do you see in churches today? Typical sermon. Church preaching, teaching. That's it. I don't know, wait. There's praise and worship too. <laughs> right? But there's no demonstration of the kingdom. Did you know that when Jesus preached, there was a proclamation and there was a demonstration? When the disciples preached, right, signs and wonders followed them. Why? To confirm the gospel of grace, the message of grace. Now, what do we see now? Preach. What happens? Let's close in prayer. No demonstration, folks. Okay, there's none. And that's why we just want to recapture that. To get back to the essence and the fullness of the gospel. This is what saddens me. The main part of church is what? Sermons. That's the main part. How is church today? Sermon stuff. Sermon was good. It's all based upon a preaching. It's not based upon relationships. It's not based, based upon a demonstration of God's power. But what does 1 Corinthians 4.20 say? For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. power. Okay, Corinthians chapter 2, Paul says, I didn't come with eloquence, I didn't come with persuasive words, but I came with the demonstration of the Spirit's power, so that your faith might not rest on the wisdom of men, but on God's power. Amen. Okay, so if I'm telling you, if you're a pastor and you're not good at preaching, it's okay. If you can demonstrate, people will listen. They'll get their attention. I'm telling you, pastors today are so focused on trying to be good communicators. And that's it. They just try to come up with their funny jokes. And I'm not against all those things. But do you see how we've lost this in the church today? Where we're so focused on entertaining the congregation instead of really demonstrating that did you know that in your congregation that while you're preaching, people are dying of cancer? Did you know that while you're doing praise and worship, your people in your congregation are still going to leave tormented by evil spirits? Just like I got a message on Facebook the other day where this girl constantly hears voices in her head. Do you think that you just preaching is always going to work? It might, but not all the time. That's why the Bible calls us to pray over people and to set them free. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.